and then I went through further. Typically that means I'm accelerating the handle, right? It's different to a full shot, so think of it as a toe, but for me, you didn't have enough pressure on your left side. 66.3. Hello guys, welcome back. Right, another lesson. Short game, obviously, you know how important it is. We talk about it all the time. I think one of the biggest moments in my kind of golf getting a little bit lower was when we did the ladder drill. Mm -hmm. Chris is back. Oh, we're still here, I'm just doing the lesson. Uh, back another video. Yep. Um, so yeah, 100 yards in, we did it. You, you'll have heard me talk about this for the last year. Pro pretty much solid, I'll be like, oh, 65 yards, chest to chest, or ladder drill. We did the ladder drill a year ago. Yep. Probably it's my fault we haven't revisited it. You should revisit the ladder drill, or at least your short game, what, once every three, four months? Oh, you can, you pack, yeah, for every quarter I like to regap. Regap it, yeah. So we're just going to regap it. It's good for you to learn as well. Like I say, you, you, you can do this. There's a lot of Trackman ranges out there and stuff like that. Now you can, you can use, if not, to go to pro. But basically we're going to do like what we call ladders, where, where, where our hands go. So it's like hands to hip, hands to ribs, chest, shoulder. You do that with three different wedges or t and you get a yardage for everyone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Save it in your phone. Believe me, after about a month, you will know them off by heart, but it's so annoying for the first month. I'm like, as much as you. I'm like 70 yards, 70 yards. <laughs> right. But yeah, we're going to do it. Enjoy it. Take a lot in. First of all, obviously, we need to go a technique because I've been yeah. doing it for a year and we've never retouched it. So let's just make sure I'm doing it right first. Get the technique sorted. And then from there, we'll do some uh, gapping and show you how to really dial in that 100 yards in. Yeah, so while Gaz is warming up, we'll talk about it. So for me, you warm up, Gaz. I, I want to just measure his low point, making sure that his interact uh, interaction with the ground is relatively consistent. We can look at his launch angle, so it's launching in the same windows, and that is very heavily tied to low point. Tempo is massive, and the reason we use, I use, and this is my preference, body parts, is because if I said my ribs, anyone can, you know, in, interpret that as somewhere in this area. So it's not specific. I'm not saying it has to be 37 centimeters here and there. I'm saying if we can get an adequate tempo, consistent tempo, not no drastic acceleration or deceleration, a nice synergy between the hands and the body into that area with good, you know, impact uh, principles when we look at it on the trap man, we know we're going to roughly land it within three or four yards of our number, you know, which is around nine feet. And that is elite. I feel like my ladder's been, all, I think it's all right. I feel like when I first did it, it was ridiculous. One thing I might be doing, I think I might be going ribs to like full. Yeah, so what that would typically promote is like quite a lot of acceleration. Yeah. Which means can be inconsistent. So I've been doing that with my chips as well. I've been doing like little bump and runs and I've been going. Yeah, okay. Rather than going. Just try and mirror it. Yeah, stop, just try and mirror it. Keep it stopping consistent. it here and get that pop. Yeah. I've been like dragging everything out, I think a bit. Okay. So I feel like I do shoulder to shoulder and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't want too much. <laughs> I need to stop it on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Similar. Ribs to similar. ribs or chest. Yeah, hip similar. Hip to hip. But I think I'm going like hip because I'll go hip and I'm up here somewhere. I guess like just on that, like I don't, it's not so much about that. What I hate or what I, what I think leads to inconsistency is if, say, for example, I went back to my pocket and then I went through further. Typically that means I'm accelerating the handle, right? Yeah. So the radius between the handle and me increases. So it goes, and when I start to drive the handle, it affects what that club is doing at the bottom. Oh. So I just like to promote this radius here. I like to try and feel like it stays quite consistent around me. So you see how my hands are staying quite close to my body the whole time. There's no accentuation of throwing yeah, yeah. like that. And that just helps me control the radius of the arc at the bottom. So. Let's see what the data says, right? I, like you said there, you feel like it's quite there. So I think just maybe just some, you know, re-clarification that everything is good might yeah. be enough to give you what you need to go. So what, what number are you hitting here? I'll go like, I'll do a ribs, 55. 55 yard carry. Okay, let's see. Okay. So how do you feel you did? That was all right, that one I feel. Just let it load. Pause it a little bit. 52. Yeah. It's three yards, nine feet short, very good. So that first one there, the low point was a little bit too far back, yeah. okay? So it's different to a full shot, so think of it as a total, but for me, you didn't have enough pressure on your left side at okay. the start. Now, with a fuller shot, why you wouldn't struggle from 80 yards is because the harder we hit it, the more momentum we're gonna carry into our yeah, left side. Yeah, no, there's no momentum. The little one, there's no momentum. So if you're on your back foot and you're going short, you're more likely so to- So even on the ones that are like a 35 yard hip to hip 60, yeah. I need to be really, yeah, yeah. really on that left. Feeling nearly like, like yeah. 80% on it. Feeling like that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, try one here. Go for a, a, a 45 yard shot. Yeah, so that'd be hip to hip. Right, but you're gonna put more weight on your left than you normally would. That was nice. How did that feel? Yeah, much better. 39 carry, not bad. Low point of 4.1 after, so another inch forward, right? Yep. That's good. 
that was slightly less than hip to hip on the swing. It's probably gonna go a little shorter. Low point five after money, but you hit it 35. Yeah, that'll be a yeah. Mr. Green. <laughs> yeah, but that, so that was the length of your swing. The pace was good, the strike was good. So make sure, so take a practice swing just to where you think your hip is. Yeah, and you can have a little bit of, make sure you turn your body with it. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, ju yeah. don't just move your arms in isolation. So move everything together on your left side. Maintain that and go a little bit longer on your hip. Much better. How did that feel? Yeah, nice. The strike is much crisper as well. Can you hear it? It's a lot more ball. Yeah, yeah. 47 yard carry. Yeah, so, so let's go up to like chest. So what, how far does that go? 65. Slightly thin. Yeah, that's th this is the ones I start. 65 yeah. yards, so starting a bit thin. Yeah, fell off it. That went higher. <laughs> a little bit higher, yeah, a little bit. So low point wasn't quite as good there. So that was 2.7 after. So think about that, right? So you're a little bit this way on that one, which is why it popped up. A yeah. little bit more interaction with the ground. It carried 60 yards, but it was it come off with a lot less spin, a lot more height. So what 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 kind of what do I want to be? Where, where, where do I want to so be? So from like 50, 60 yards, I like to see the launch angle somewhere in between 25 and 30 degrees. So what right? am I doing? So that's adding too so, much loft because you fall along onto that back foot. So, so I need to be. Let's try one little thing in setup for me, right? I want you to feel like you just so. What you do sometimes is you have a little bit too much right bend at setup with a wedge, okay? So I want you to feel like a little drill you can do is grip the club cack handed, which is like what match fat. <laughs> can you see how this lowers this, yeah. lowers that, right? Yeah. And then swap your hands around, but keep that lower. So you feel like your shoulders are a little bit more level, yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. Sometimes you get a little bit this way. Now, even if you push your weight forward and like this, it's gonna help me. yeah, so we want, we're not going to hit up, but it's not going to be as much down as we'd like. So just feel like you lower the left shoulder a touch. See the strike difference? And it launches a bit lower? Yeah, I don't know if I can... Felt really weird, that. It will feel weird, it's different, isn't it? See the lower flight? Look, it feels weird, it's just there. Yeah, it's weird. It's only a slight adjustment. I know, but... Don't, so don't, you know, I'm not saying go I from like... like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chris, help. Yeah, we don't want that either. Mine's but much. you can just feel like it's very subtle, you just lower. How about you just lower your left shoulder a tiny bit, lower your left ear a tiny bit. There you go. Whatever you want to feel, something very slightly. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you do it so exaggerated. Get yourself up to the ball. I'm going to move you. Where you go, com go comfortable. Go comfortable. Yeah, Put you. You comfortable? Mean, yeah. Put your weight in your left leg as you're comfortable. You comfortable? Yeah. Done. That's almost like turning my hip, a shoulder out though, isn't it? Okay. We might feel like you're a little bit more open if you want to feel like that. That's okay. You can hear the strikes different. So I'm basically just pushing my left shoulder over. But try, yeah, ah. I don't like this for you. you you're, going, you're going bonkers with it. Okay, <laughs> forget it. Forget it. We're just going to focus on that. But ultimately, all, all I'm asking for really is think about your spine, yeah? yeah? Your spine is a little bit too much tilted to the right. Forget your shoulders. Think about your spine. It sometimes gets a little bit too far tilted yeah, this way. Make, it, make your spine vertical in your head. That twisting left, because now you're twisting left, aren't you? Just don't do this, because now you're going to start going over here. I might have to leave this one. <laughs> well, not leave it. Just something that's a bit more difficult. This is good. People can see it's not all easy. Yeah. Really? How about if you just move your buttons slightly ahead of the ball then? No, no, just yeah, like yeah, when you lean. Do that then. Simpler. Move your buttons ahead of the ball and keep them there. Like yeah. that. So yeah. that's it up and then go like that. No, don't turn them. Move them laterally. That's it there. Perfect. Yeah, that's a shaft. That's just leading it. Okay. So just do the lean then. Simplify it. <laughs> 66.3. So you're pretty dulled in with your numbers. Yeah. I think the only issue, right, is the low point was a little too far back. But with that, you were starting but with, with your pressure on your, with on your the right. the lean, that is going to help That'll massively. Help. Yes. But I was yes. just, for a 65 yards, I was almost setting up just neutral. You actually, if you go to where you were at the start, you're actually, if you stop there right now, you've got more pressure on your right foot. Yeah, I have. Yes. I can almost practice like that. You could, you? yeah. Try a couple of little soft shots. Do, put, do this, put your right foot back on and put your knee into your, that's it, like that. And just hit a couple of real, like, 45-yard shots. Keep your pressure forward and then turn the chest. Does that feel very different? Yeah. That's just maintaining the left I side. I might just chip like that. That's money. Let's see where that's gone. 4.5 after on the low point. Carried 78. Yeah, 75 yard shot. Right, I'm going to hit two of the 50 and two of the 60 just to make sure. Okay, so that's when you, do you feel it? You feel it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so you started there. 
but then you went Didn't back steer onto there. it. Yeah. Stay forward. Nice. So it's lower ball flight, less spin under the wind. That carried 81. So maybe it's wrong. No, no. But, but maybe that's where it's. I think you look like with this club, your downswing, and you can check this. Looks a little bit quicker. Right. Okay. So keep it the just, same. Just thing. smooth. Yeah. Feel like your backswing and your downswing feel like the same tempo. Yeah. Lovely. That was beautiful. That. That was really. You stay forwards. You turn nicely. You looks nice and controlled. Low point of 4.4 after 76.6. Certified yard shot. Yeah. Right, 60. I'm going to try hip the hip here because I think this is a shot I need in the locker. 35 yard shot. Mm -hmm. Amount of times I'm 30, 35 yards away. Do you think this is 35 yards? I think hip to hip's 35. I think it's 35, 45 ribs, 55 chest, 65 shoulder. Yeah, okay. But why perfect. would you ever take a 60 over a 56 or a 50? Well, it, again, it depends on the situation. If there's bunkers in front of you, you want to launch a bit higher. Probably, yeah. Quicker. So it's, it's not about spin necessarily, but if it comes in from a higher launch, it's going to bounce. Think about if I throw a ball. Yeah, it's, it's going to bounce left. upwards. If I throw a ball this way, it's going to bounce forward. So, so if you were like, if it was like a really small green, you didn't want to run off the back. Something. Yeah. yeah. Well, now remember on the shorter shots, it's even more important to stay Look, left. Yeah, yeah. Well, we no, I think I will. By doing yeah. that thing, I think I will anyway. Nice. Nipped oh. it. Lovely. How do you feel it was? Yeah, nice. Low point, 3.8 after. You carried that 47. Wow. Mm. That's put me flying the green, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So why was that? Well, because you are, so I, either that wasn't hip to hip, which to be honest with you, I didn't look at the swing. I was what was it? At the, what, what, what was it? 47 carry. So you just went too Ribs. Did you go too far? Yeah, just 35, 45. So, right, so, try, so just take a couple of practice swings first and just get some spatial awareness of where your hands are. Better. Much better. You're nipping it now with that weight forward. Yeah, yeah. This leg on your toes is is a game changer, by the way. Everyone's going to bet the BMW like this. There you go. 38. 38. Yeah, so 35. Perfect. Even, so Nine even. feet. Perfect. All right, sound. All right. Hope that helped. That is literally ladder drill. Um, if you're getting confused, by the way, it's just what I'm seeing is hands to hip, ribs, chest, shoulder. You can go through each club. It normally goes up in 10 yards. Roughly, Ish. depends on the player, but yeah. Yeah, so mine goes, my, my 56, for example, is um, 45, 55, 65, 75. It kind of goes up 10 for my 50 and kind of goes down 10. Assuming so. that you remain consistent yeah, in the yeah. tempo. So, if say, people go hip and accelerate, it's obviously going to yeah, be You've got to get a lesson on, and go through this. We've been through the numbers and dialed that in. That's a different video. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, put it to the test. <laughs> See you soon.